welcome to Between Two Vacuums. I'm Nick Hunter, the host of the show. Our, our first guest today is Deanna Lynn Spiata. Let's give her a warm welcome. Thank you! Thank you for having me. I'm so glad to be okay. here today. So let's get started. You're in an acapella group called Cutoff from Rochester in New York? Yeah, it's a great group. We're made up of seven friends. We just love to what sing. What does acapella mean, exactly? Well, it means there's no accompaniment, so everything you hear comes from our mouth, so we sing like every part of the song. Oh, it's one of those. Excuse me? Um, nothing. So, now I'm gonna ask you some things about yourself so our audience can get to know you better. Oh, okay, great. Um, yeah, how did you get involved in Cutoff? Well, I was really good friends with Dave Porter. He's our bass in Cutoff um, in high school and grade school, and he like asked me to audition, and at first I wasn't sure, but then I did, and now I can't imagine not being in Cutoff. Interesting. So you said you were good friends with Dave Porter. Does that mean you're not good friends with him anymore? No, no, not at all. Like, we're still great friends. Because when you, you say it that way, it makes it sound like there was some drama or something that happened. No, no, we're great friends. I love him. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, how precious. Anyway, what musician has inspired you most? And why? Um, well, I would have to say Miranda Lambert. She inspired me to follow my dream of becoming a country singer and inspired me to learn how to play guitar. So I, I guess I would say her the most. But you can't use guitars in acapella music. Yeah, right. But I, I like I still do solo stuff and like out at open mic nights. So you're you're cheating on cutoff. No, Cutoff totally supports me and like you're, all you're my personal. cheating on Cutoff? No. Are you sure? I'm sure they don't care. Alright. Are you sure? I, I see it in your face. Yeah, I'm <clears throat> sure. My face is fine. Okay. So if there was a member of Cutoff that you would want to punch the most, who would it be? Um, I can't answer that question. I would not punch any of them. They're all my friends. So Matt? No, that's a ridiculous question. I would not punch any of them. So it's Dave. <laughs> no! I, can we just like get back to the questions, please? It's really inappropriate. Fine. What fine... What five songs do you think every person should listen to? Well, like I said, I really love Miranda Lambert, so I'd probably have to say Love is Looking For You Now by Miranda, um, Forever Changed by Carrie Underwood, and Matter of Minutes by Sean Colvin. False. Black Bear. What? Boring, what? Boring answers. Time's up. Those are definitely not boring songs. So what's your favorite kind of beer? Um, Wine. I don't think you understood the question. No, like, get it, because, like, I don't like beer, so I just said, like, wine instead. But you didn't answer the question. But I don't like, I was trying to make a joke. So, sorry. It wasn't a joke for me. Uh, okay. So, why didn't you invite me to that party you guys had what? on May 12th? What? May 12th? That was, like, when you were in Disney World. You weren't even there. You were, like, all the way down the coast in Florida. What is, like, seriously, Nick? Doesn't like, matter. why are you bringing this up now? I still wouldn't like to be invited. Oh, my God, I swear. So if you could punch any one member of Cut Off in the face, who would it be? Mm -hmm. 